Hello. This is Randy Hall with news from the year 3045, brought to you by Tachyon Technology, faster than the speed of light. And our sponsor is Cosmos Harmony. Remember, you can find true, true love in the galaxy with Cosmos Harmony. Welcome cybernauts to a wonderful world of the future, and I sure do hope it's better in the future because you don't know what I've been through. I think somebody at YouTube's got it out for me. I mean, it's pretty rough. Um, I'm going to start with a video. It's not really a, it's not a UFO video. But if you'll check this out while I'm telling you, you can see the video. It's called Kara, K A R A, a P53 new technology. That's Kara, K A R A, a P53 new technology. And it's about the manufacturing of an android that becomes sentient. It realizes that it's alive. I remember years ago, the first concepts of self-identity really date back centuries, pre-biblical, uh, such as I am, and in the Bible, I am that I am, and then, uh, which uh, some people translate to be I am who or what I am, the coming to be, there's different translations in that, and uh, it's biblical, but concept of self is so important to be sentient, to know that you're a part of the world, that you're a part of the universe. Check this video out, and don't let the first picture you see throw you off. Um, it, it's much more involved than that. Again, it's Kara P53 New Technology. It's really great. And, uh, okay, and now for some UFOs. Um... Let's see here. UFO sighting caught on tape September 2012. Plane flying in the air when something passes it. Now the plane's probably moving like 600, 700 miles an hour. Maybe a little slower. But something actually passes it quickly. It's rather amazing. Um, another one is uh, UFO sighting August uh in September 2012, part two, and it's just a collection of videos of UFOs. It's kind of interesting. Um, during August and September, good stuff. I've often thought that aliens and UFOs are an extension of what angels and demons were during the Middle and Dark Ages either on a physical level, actual physical level, or on a psychological level. Probably both. Probably both. Uh, my predictions are uh, October 31st, Halloween, maybe the night before, or the morning after, are, and uh, November 24, Thanksgiving, the night before and the morning after, Winter solstice, December 21st. All you Mayan calendar people. Um, also, December 24th, December 25th, and uh, December 31st, and January 1st. These are the days I predicted that we'll see some UFOs. And I base it on the fact that these are days well, a lot of people have time to look around and to see what's going on. So, those are my predictions. Now for news from the 31st century. Servos Incorporated have released their newest servos. Servos are robotic hands that float through the air by anti-gravity. They can be used for an extra hand when performing mechanical and medical procedures. Ever wish you had a sec? A second pair of hands. I tip my hat to Asmov's amazing stories on this one. 
now, taking a look at the past. It was in Germany in 2012 of the 21st century that solar power plants produced a record 22 gigawatts of electricity per hour. As much as that is as much electricity as 20 nuclear power stations can produce. It is interesting that at that same time in history in America, some people called solar power a left-wing conspiracy. Dumbasses. I've never understood people who still want to live in caves because that's the philosophy they're practicing. We can't do that. That's new. Morons. Okay. Uh, more news from the 31st century. Security at Central Valley has a new device to be used in keeping the, the peace. It is a cerebral stunner that can cause the cerebrum of the brain of a criminal to shut down for a few seconds, which allows police to arrest a criminal. Studies show that no harm is done to the subject. Simply pointing the device at a subject and pulling the trigger uh, literally causes a brain freeze. Every officer who uses one of these devices has had the device used on himself or herself as a part of their training. It's only fair. I mean, you shouldn't use a weapon on somebody unless you're willing to experiment, experience it yourself. Um, gives you some idea what you're putting somebody's foot through. Uh, now, remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm, my predictions and my information. Share with your friends. You never know. They might like it. Now, sir, for some ideas. Hmm. It's here somewhere. But yeah, now, sir, some thoughts about what's going on. Remember that a broken clock is always right at least twice a day. That's a fact. I also want to point out that I believe that through modern industry, science, technology, and medicine, balanced with respect and consideration for the world we live in, that the future could become a paradise or even a heaven. And also, for those of you who would like to see the world have less pollution, you want to live in a world where there's no pollution, don't depend on the government to do it. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Um, the way to do it is for us as fathers and mothers and teachers to teach our children that they can produce manufacturing and technology and industry that doesn't pollute and waste resources, that they can do it, that through their brain power they can figure out ways to do it. Give them that challenge and tell them you can do this. I bet they would amaze it. Just my thoughts. And for you who don't believe in pollution exists, you need to go back to your cave. Anyway, um, uh, remember to work for your dream. Just sitting on your butt doing nothing doesn't work. You have to sweat a little bit. Make an effort. You could be the next Bill Gates. You could be the next Einstein. You could be the next Tesla. Who knows? Work for your dream. Put effort into it. Remember to fight for your future. Remember that uh, there was a woman who said that anyone who fights for the future lives for today. So fight for your future. Make an effort. Um, remember what the Dormouse said in Alice in Wonderland? Feed your head. Learn something new. I am. I'm taking some courses. Um, Remember that he, uh, that may you always have the freedom to choose the path of reason. And when reason isn't present, may you have the wisdom to know it. 
And remember that sometimes, even when you lose, you can still win if you don't give up your dreams. And before I go, I want to plug my book. It's a historical fiction fantasy. It's called The Ballad of Dred Scott. It's uh, the story of a man who's chosen to be the champion of the universe to bring an end to slavery before the Civil War. It's based on a true story. And it teaches that sometimes, even when you lose, you can still win if you don't give up your dreams. Check it out on the Internet. Ballad of Dred Scott. Well, I got to go. Remember that the universe is benevolent and, and uh, may it bless you. And remember that this part of the universe right here looking at you loves you. Loves you. Really do. Here's what happens to you. I do. I want you to have a better tomorrow. And uh, don't worry about the mind calendar. There's more to fear from people than there is the mind calendar in Nibiru. Just make sure you don't do anything to hurt yourself or anybody else. Don't freak out. It'll work out. As long as you're alive, the world has not ended. Your world has not ended as long as you're alive. Well, I'm going to go. And you have a good day. Bye-bye.